I am about to go out of town, so I want to take my nail polish off on my toes, my toenail polish. So that's what I'm doing right now. So something happened yesterday and I was like, wow, the world is changing. So my husband's birthday is coming up. I figured out what I want to get him for his birthday. So I called the place where I want to get the gift from and I wanted to get all the details about the gift. So I wanted to know how much it was going to be, what he would get for the price and all that. I also found out through calling and looking everything up that the place I want to get the gift from is going to be like over an hour away from me. So I was like, okay, with the price and the distance, I'm going to have to really like plan this trip to go here and pick up this gift. Yesterday was the day. I had it on my calendar. I was ready. I was like, okay, I'm going up there on this day. I'm going to get the gift. Cool. I took the money out of the bank account. So I'm driving up there and it did take well over an hour to get there. So I get there. I'm excited. I'm like, yeah, everything's going according to plan. I walk in the door. I pull out my little envelope of money. And so I'm starting to like, you know, kind of pull out some of the money a little bit. And the guy at the counter is like, may I help you? So I'm like, yeah, you know, I want to get this, this, and that. He looks at my fresh green dollar bills and says, we don't take cash. I was like, are you serious? What's so crazy is I had just asked my husband just the other day if he ever heard of reverse ATMs. And I had just read about it and I read that it's where, you know, you can go to a big venue and sometimes they will have it where you can put cash in and you could get like a Visa or a MasterCard debit card in exchange. So I guess this is like the new thing. I just wasn't ready. I've been sewing. I'm working on Simplicity 8702. I'm making View B and these are some knit pants that have a drop crotch. And I've made these before. The first time I used a knit that was a little bit thinner than this knit. This time around, I'm using this interlock knit that I found from Joanne Fabrics. For the waistband, I'm using a rib knit fabric. I'm also going to put some gray cording in the waist area for the ties. It calls for a two inch wide elastic and also two zippers. And the zippers go in the bottom of the leg area. So I think that's a cute detail. I'm almost done. I am going to sew this back seam and then I'm going to put the waistband on and put the cording through and then I should be finished with this. And it's only 7 o'clock in the morning and Joanne is having a sale today on Simplicity Patterns so I'm going to finish these up and then I plan to go to Joanne Fabrics and see if I can pick up some new patterns. The waistband is going to have two buttonholes here for the casing to go through and I think I'm going to put a little interfacing on this side just to stabilize the area first and then after I put the buttonholes in I will sew up this one side seam and get ready to attach it to the pants. So the first time I made these pants I did not put the buttonholes in the waistband. I just took my scissors and made two little snips into the fabric. But this time around, I said, okay, I'm gonna do better. All right. So now I just need to snip these holes open and line them up with the front of the pants. I sewed the back seam and then realized that I still don't have the front attached to the back. So now before I actually can put on the waistband, I need to stitch this opening closed so from here up and around to the other legs.
getting hot. So I finished my pants and I actually took pictures in them and I'm wearing them right now. So I ended up changing clothes from the green and putting this on and then I left the house. So I will show you the pants. I picked up three did I put up three fingers? Three patterns. I've done this before and I put up two and said three. But yeah, three. I see I did it again. Three patterns. Okay, Simplicity 96.79 and Simplicity 97.55. I like the pants. I don't know if you can see. I'll pop a picture up. But I like the pants. So I want to give those a try at some point. And then the last one is Simplicity 9550. I really like this bottom because all this time I thought it was a skirt, but it's actually shorts. So once I realized it was shorts, I was like, oh, that is just too cute. I was craving salsa. So after I left Joanne Fabrics, I went to the grocery store to pick up a few items. I like to add a can of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. This gives the salsa a smoky taste. I'll also be using cilantro a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, some jalapenos, and I like it spicy so I'm also going to put some habanero peppers, garlic, I love garlic so I'll be putting like a lot of garlic, onions, and lime juice if you have lime juice. I will not be putting lime juice this time and I'm going to mix it all up in the food processor and I don't measure so I'm just going to throw this in there and make some salsa. It's 4.57 in the morning, headed to Florida. So for my traveling outfit, I'm wearing three sewing makes. I have on a duster, which I've made about three times. I really love it. Then I'm wearing my McCall's knit pants and a top that used to be a dress. like oh my goodness and there's a pool here so now that I know that there's little critters I gotta you know be a little more cautious when I'm out here in the back here in Key West they had a couple of shark sightings and some attacks so having a private pool is, is nice I packed a whole lot of sewing makes and I am so hot in this garment it's like about 80 something degrees I'm really burning up but we're on our way to the grocery store we want to pick up a few items so that we can cook and we're just hanging out here at the house tonight so i don't think i'm gonna change tonight but whenever i bring out some of my garments i'll be sure to share them with you what we're looking for sis a gray toyota sienna all right so we can hit a Publix and try these subs that everybody swear by yes here's our ride here is our ride the room I'm staying in 
and when I first came in the room I was looking all over and I was like where is the closet because I wanted to go ahead and start hanging up my clothes I was looking everywhere and I said wait a minute I know this room is not a room without a closet and then as I was leaving out of the room I realized that here's the closet right here so I had actually walked right by it so that's the entrance to the room you walk by the closet and then you're in the room You know when I got here, I saw it. I texted the people immediately. Like, yeah. I don't want you to think this was up. Right. I was like, I did walk around. We found a broken window. My sister was saying she called the people to let them know, hey, we did not do this broken window over here. I said, you know, I was like, I was like, oh, the house is so nice. I did a quick walk around, and the only thing I saw was this window. Oh. I'm wearing this McCall's jumpsuit that I made and it's so comfortable so I think it will be perfect because we're supposed to be going somewhere and doing a lot of walking today. I decided to just come out here and sit by the pool while I wait for everybody else to get ready to start the day. Eccentric. The word is eccentric. Okay, you mean eccentric, peculiar, odd, or bizarre. Eccentric. Eccentric. Peculiar, odd, or bizarre. It is about twelve forty-five, and I am just now getting out of the bed. I've been in the bed, just lounging around. We stayed up so late last night playing games and we had a lot of fun. So I'm not sure what we're going to do today. We could go to the beach or we could just stay here and play some more games because that's a lot of fun for us. We love doing that kind of stuff. So it's nice because we don't have a plan or an itinerary. We're just here having a good time, letting what happens happen. I had some time to think about what I want to make next and I think in my next video I'm going to share one of the simplicity patterns that I picked up at the beginning of the video. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Potatoes. Yum, I can't wait to eat these. 
I've had this dress in my closet for a little while since I made it and I've never really, really worn it out. Like I'll make stuff and then I'll take pictures in it and then I'll hang it up in my closet for like the perfect occasion. So I thought that this would be the perfect time to wear this dress. It's nice and comfortable. This is a Vogue dress and it has a jumpsuit in the pattern. I've made the jumpsuit and then I made the dress. I think it's a great pattern. So today I think we're gonna do an on and off bus tour so we can kind of see what Key West has to offer. And I found out that the writer, Judy Bloom, lives here. She's currently 85, and yes, yeah, she lives here in Key West. I thought that was really cool. Here's an iguana. I was waiting to see one. Look, oh my gosh. It's actually really pretty. It's so green. Iguana, look at this long tail. Oh my goodness. I gotta show my mom that we saw one. What y'all think? What y'all think? Trips is that they have to come to an end. 